Hello everyone, my name is Aubrey Elise and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you my top 5 favorite Barbie movies because I am an adult who is proud to still watch Barbie. Barbie was my childhood. I had all of the dolls, I had the DVDs, I had the accessories, like it was, it was a big deal. Such a big deal that I still have some of them. I'm not gonna talk about it. I, don't, I, I used to have a lot more, but I kept a couple. But anyway, let's get started. I'm going to be talking about the OG Barbie movies from The Nutcracker to The Secret Door because those are the best ones and I haven't actually watched the newer Barbie movies so I can't really rank them. Sorry. One more thing before I start, ranking these movies was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be because I already knew which one was going to be my favorite but ranking all of the other ones I was like wait there's like so many things like they're just all so good so i didn't i didn't know what to do but i figured it out so let's start at number five we have princess charm school first of all let me just say you can touch as a princess that opening it's a bob such a good song and for what regarding the actual movie the storyline's pretty good blair gets chosen to attend princess charm school because her sister entered her name in turns out she actually is the princess daughter of queen isabella you know having the whole dramatic scene because i am princess sophia daughter of queen isabella it's like okay okay but what makes the movie memorable in my opinion is the characters delancey devon is it bad to say that i like her more than the main character is am i gonna be judged for that because in my opinion she had the most character development she started off as a bully but then she had a change of heart when she found out she wasn't actually the princess she could have kept the information to herself but she didn't character development portia she is definitely a character but i love her and the way she talks oh my gosh is it nap time how come nobody told me Hopefully that impression wasn't too horrible. Also, we can't forget about these iconic outfits, but when are we gonna start asking how they made the new uniforms with the old uniforms? Like, they completely changed color palettes. And don't even start with the whole, Aubrey, it's just a kid's show. It's supposed to be magical and fun. It's not realistic, actually. And don't even get me started on how Delancey somehow came up with the color purple for her <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away. The only reason why I ranked this movie at number five is because I surprisingly didn't watch it that much. I'm a person that watches movies over and over and over again until I literally memorize the entire movie. But I didn't watch this movie as often as the others, even though it's like so good. I don't know why. I mean, I've definitely memorized certain parts of the movie, but like not all of it. I don't know. I actually want to watch it right now because I haven't watched it in a long time. At number four, we have Barbie Fairytopia Mermaidia. I already know what you're gonna say. Aubrey, the first Fairytopia was so much better. I like the first one too, don't get me wrong, but Mermaidia, Mermaidia, I, I, I just love it, I love it. I think I watched it a lot because I just always wanted to be a mermaid when I was a kid, like always. Like yeah, fairies are cool, but like mermaids, you know? But the reason I love this movie so much was because of Nori. I'm not even gonna lie to you right now. She was my favorite character. She's so pretty and she's so sassy. I just love her personality. Love it. And my favorite scene in the movie is the iconic scene. How much farther to the bitty? We're almost at the berry. Just make a left at this coral. Make a left. Lefting. Left. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't mind me fidgeting with this. Don't, don't worry about it. Another scene that I love is when Nori guides Elena and Bibble through like those, those like fire geysers. That's, it was so dramatic. I was like, whoa, like as a kid, I'm like sitting at the edge of my seat, like, oh my gosh, are they gonna make it? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. But yeah, I love that scene too. And of course we love the scene where Bibble eats all of the random fruits and he gets just like all the random voices and the singing, the opera. It's a great movie. It's just, there's so many scenes that have gone viral. It's just, it's great. It's great, it's great. Also, this is very random, but whenever I watch Fairytopia movies, I always want to eat the desserts. Like they just have 
their food looks so good like the pastries like the cakes whatever they're doing the cupcakes they just look so good i think someone should definitely open like a barbie themed bakery or like a fairytopia bakery i think it would bring all of the og fans back at number three we have barbie and the 12 dancing princesses I think the reason why I love this movie so much was because there's so much ballet in it. And at the time, ballet was like the main dance that I did, so I could like relate to it a little bit. Whenever I watched the movie, I would like literally dance along with them. <laughs> when they went to the magical realm and they're doing like da 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 like I was literally dancing that. I had the dance memorized. I don't have it memorized anymore, unfortunately, but like I was there doing like the turns and the leaps and the jumps like I was doing <laughs> I would also like to point out that I wanted their point shoes so bad. Like when I went on point in real life in ballet, I was like, I really wish I could have their point shoes. They're so pretty and everything. Derek is also in this movie, which makes it 10 times better, obviously. I just feel like everyone loves him. Like whenever I ask, who is your favorite Barbie prince? They're always like, Derek. I'm like, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, like he's so sweet and he makes pretty shoes and like he sacrificed and risked so much just for Genevieve and the sisters, like he's great. And he can dance too, which always helps. Now I want to talk about Duchess Rowena. And no, I'm not going to start defending her. No, I'm not doing all that. All I want to say is that I like her outfit. That's pretty much all I want to say. Like the blue and the gray and the hints of purple, like, like I wouldn't wear it obviously but like it suits her it suits her that's all i want to say moving on but her pet monkey is so annoying oh my gosh like it's laugh and the way i ran it. bro don't even get me started on that overall i love the movie and the fact that they are dancers really hits home for me at number two we have barbie the princess and the pop star i love this movie so much because it honestly really inspired me as a kid if you didn't already know, I've been wanting to be a singer since I was like really, really little. So when I watched this movie, I wanted to be Kira. I wanted to sing, write the songs, have the cool concerts, make the dances, like just all of that fun stuff. And the fact that the movie kind of shows like the downsides of being a pop star just made me more passionate about it. It showed that being a singer can cause a lot of stress when you have like tight schedules and other things like that. But that didn't stop me. I still really wanted to be a pop star. And watching all of Kira's really cool purple concerts made me really excited. I would always sing Here I Am when I watched the movie because that song is so good. I even listen to it still right now. Like, it's such a good song. I like how Tori and Kira have like their magic microphone and their magic hairbrush. A really cool theme. I really like it. And I'm not gonna lie, Kreider was really funny. Like he was like the villain, but like also the comic relief character. Like he was just so funny. And like his psychic, I forgot his name, but like, bruh, they were really funny. Very, very funny. Yeah, I will always love Prince and the Pop Star. Has a special place in my heart. And at number one, we have, drum roll please. Barbie as the princess and the pauper. I strongly believe that this is the best Barbie movie that's ever been made. And let me tell you why. Reason number one, the music. There is no bad song in this entire movie. Every single song is so iconic and you have to sing along to every single one of them. Like you can't just watch the movie and be like listening in silence. You have to sing it, you just have to. Reason number two, Priminger. Need I say more? Priminger is the best Barbie villain of all time. All time. The song How Can I Refuse single-handedly proves my argument. Like, come on. He's such a sassy, entertaining, humorous character. He literally carried the movie. That's what I'm trying to say. Reason number three, Julian and King Dominic, y'all. I love them. <laughs> Julian is such a sweet guy, literally looking out for Annalise and Erica, mind you, in his iconic song, To Be a Princess. Love it. And King Dominic, I love him so much. He's caring, he's sweet, he's handsome, he plays instruments, he sings, he plays the piano mostly. I play the piano, like, bro, bro, I can't, I just can't. He is my favorite Barbie prince. Well, king, ba favorite Barbie king. <laughs> I would also like to say that the last scene when they're singing Written in Your Heart and they have like the wedding scene and everything, it's my favorite scene. It just, it just makes me so happy. <laughs> what I am trying to say is I love this movie and everything about it is amazing. 
Well, there you have it. Those are my top five favorite Barbie movies. And before y'all start asking, Aubrey, where's the Diamond Castle? Where's the Magic Pegasus? Where's the Island Princess? I love them, don't get me wrong, but they're not my overall favorites, but they are amazing movies. Don't get me wrong, I love them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Barbie movie is. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.